Jim, let me ask you this just to throw this out there because there are now fans saying it, so let's get your take on it. The Bucks featured the CM Punk chant in the latest episode of their YouTube show. They led the chant here during the match. They mocked the Buckshot Lariat. Omega yeah. bit the arm of whoever he bit the arm oh, of. Oh, yes. One of, one of the opponents, yeah, he bit his arm. The fans, I think, this is building up the return of CM Punk <laughs> with another, let's say, FTR or someone, but CM Punk, at least, to feud with the Elite. What are your thoughts on that? Well, it actually, it would be business. If they had that uh, lined up, laid out, then all this would be perfectly acceptable. And and wishful thinking would indicate, you know, that everybody would want to see that, right? Oh, yeah, everybody gets back together. We have this big program. It draws all kinds of money. But what you are overlooking is the fact that these fucking douchebags don't want to draw money. They don't want anybody to jeopardize their position, their, their company, their revolution, their movement. If anybody gets over or is more important than them or shows people that their wrestling is shit and that people still in larger numbers react to shit they can understand, that's bad. And that would have to you would have to assume that the buckaroos and twinkle toes were willing to work with a guy like punk who they've had heat with or that Tony would be willing to deal with a guy that's told him to go fuck himself or whatever. Now I know people are saying, well, Hey, Vince McMahon has put the WWF title on a dozen guys that said, fuck you to him or whatever. Right before that. Yes. Cause Vince was all about business. This is not business. This is fantasy booking by a billionaire boy child. And the incredible windfall that these self-trained, self-important, self-indulgent nitwits have fallen into by getting said billionaire boy child to fucking fund their goddamn vision of what this Fakakta wrestling is. And it ain't working. Because they're in the same place they were three years ago. But they've had tons more bad publicity. Ticket sales are going down. Ratings are going down. Everybody's getting in a fight backstage. And the only people in the locker room that have the pull with Tony to get him to do anything are the ones that are protecting their spots at the expense of everything else the show the program the promotion the show the program the the business everything so yes in a perfect world this would all be a work but it's not and it's not gonna be and they don't have it in them to call punk and say all right let's put this fucking behind us let's make some money and let's to be honest besides the same group of people you could probably get Punk and Olivier if if people thought there was goddamn real legitimate bad feelings, which there is. You could probably get a pay-per-view out of them. To have Punk in the same ring with the Buckaroos would just be bringing him down to their level. There's no money to be made there anyway because the only people that would care would be the same people that's already watching the show. I think there are people who would pay thinking the idea they would love to see CM Punk get his hands on the Bucks. Because if you really think about it, even when they lose matches, no one ever gets his, their hands on the Bucks and just smacks them around and treats them like shit. I don't know. I think that anybody who dislikes the Bucks that bad would probably think, well, he already beat him up and for real and in a locker room, and why why should I pay to see it again for a work? But, it, it, I mean, just, there's no way, if you noticed, I'm sure everybody did, CM Punk and neither of the Buckaroos ever crossed paths on camera during his entire time in that promotion. Right? The only thing I saw is apparently, and I think it must have been on their little YouTube show, when CM Punk debuted, they did a video of them making mocking faces of the reaction to CM Punk yeah. backstage. That's the only thing I know yeah. of. Well, yeah, because that's where they were back doing their little YouTube thing, and he was doing the real television program. But there was never any interaction, because I'm sure that right off the bat, Punk said, I'm going to work with serious talent. There was never any interaction with 
Olivier either. But I'm not saying that if if people knew there's real heat and then they could get him to work, that might be interesting. And if Olivier is able to listen and do as he's told and be led, probably have the best match he's ever had with Punk because he wouldn't be doing all that fucking cheerleading routine bullshit. But I don't see any way in the world that Punk ever gets in the ring with the Buckaroos for any reason. Working, shooting, or anything else, because nobody would give a fuck. It would be ridiculous. Look at them and look at him. Nevertheless, hey, speaking of... Go ahead. Forget it, forget it. What, what? I was going to say, part of the problem is we haven't heard CM Punk say shit. Everyone's, oh, CM Punk's side says this. CM Punk hasn't said anything. And I was going to say... Why doesn't he just come out and say what's going on? But I realize he's still an employee. He's actually still confined to his contract too. Yeah. And I don't believe they're making any inroads to a successful resolution when the guys that he's already beat up once are out there making fun of him on fucking television. Cause he's got Tony's either going to have to pay him this money or, or he's going to have to bring him back and, and let him work. Between the issues here with Tony and Punk, where purportedly there's a buyout, but we haven't heard anything, anything about movement on that or anything in a long time now, and other stories about Tony maybe not necessarily having such a rosy time with other top talent, that maybe some people are turning into divas, do you think it's going to change the way Tony deals with talent and top talent? Well... <sighs> I think something should have changed that a long time ago. I think Tony should have stopped dealing with top talent. Because it, I know there's some nice people, like a Mick Foley. Mick Foley would sit down with Tony Khan for hours and try to talk to him and teach him and give him advice and pitch ideas and work with him because Mick is the nicest human being in the world. But most top talent is either going to do one of two things with Tony Khan. They're either going to manipulate him for their own self and best interests because they know they can, because he wants to be everybody's friend. He has no experience with this. And he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, and he can be easily led. Or the other section of top talent is going to go, okay, you're my boss, and here, here's a handshake, and boy, you're a nice guy, but don't talk to me about wrestling because that's it's like you're a fucking grade schooler coming up and talking to a heart surgeon about a fucking bypass. They might try to pitch stuff to Tony, but it would be frustrating because they could see it was going over his head or whatever the fuck. So you've got the self-serving crew and you've got the, the group that is just like, my God, can we talk to a real booker or a real wrestling person? We don't mind working for the guy, and he's a nice enough guy, but he's not qualified or equipped to tell us what we ought to be doing. You can't tell me that 95% of the wrestlers on the AEW roster do not fall into one or the other of those categories. I'd like to hear what the third category is. Oh, everybody's happy to be there and going out and working their hardest. That's for all the guys in wrestling school. Because, yes, when optimally you want everybody going out and working as hard as they can and being behind the promotion and excited about the momentum and all that stuff. But that's a perfect world. And this ain't a perfect world. And I can't imagine that anybody that is more than just somebody that's lucky to be being seen and paid would have any opinion otherwise than the two camps that I just mentioned. 